So I'm out here on my morning run and I thought now would be a good time to stop and make a video because I've just had to duck down to get under a fallen tree, under a fallen branch. And an obstacle as simple as that is really that simple to deal with. You know, we get obstacles thrown at us all the time, but it's how we deal with those obstacles that makes the difference in our life. And like I say, something as simple as a fallen branch, you go under it, you go over it, you do whatever it is you have to do to keep going in your journey. But how many obstacles are there in the journey of life that derail us completely? Now, it's a year ago today that I did my TEDx. Would you let your kids play with a loaded gun? And one of the themes on my TEDx, I mean, the, the big one is all about, are you playing Russian roulette with your health? It's all about that loaded gun. It's all about, you know, the ways that we are influencing our own lives and shortening them with our lifestyles. But that's not the only theme that's in there. The other theme that's in there is the way we bury our heads in the sand. But I neglected my health. And 10 years later, I was obese. I was addicted, I was depressed, I had an ever-growing list of illnesses. I was like an ostrich, burying my head in the sand and playing Russian roulette with my health. Because in reality, when it comes to health, most people actually have some level of understanding of things that will promote health and things that will reduce health. But which ones do they choose to do? And it's not only in health, is it? You know, I like to refer to it as the ostrich epidemic. As in, we have a whole epidemic of people in this world right now who are burying their head in the sand. You know, they know what it is they need to do to move their life forward, but they're not doing it. And hey, I'm not perfect on this one either. You know, I'm gonna be really honest here and say that this morning when I woke up, I did not want to come for this run. But I know I need to do it. And I know that as I'm recovering from injury and I'm training for, you know, my first race in what well, would have been more than a year and a half, you know, to run a half marathon in October, to start building back up to ultra marathons and the kind of distances that I was running. I know that if I don't do the training, I won't be able to do the run. It's as simple as that. So whilst I could make excuses, whilst, you know, yesterday when I went to the gym, I could have made excuses to not go to the gym. I could have given myself reasons. I could have given myself a whole set of beliefs about, you know, I don't have the time or I can't do this right now or, you know, there's a million other things that I need to attend to. But here's the reality, and this is, you know, this is probably the biggest point I want to make here. When you're committed enough to something, you find a way. And even if it's not the perfect way, even if it's not you know, the way that's going to get you to your destination in the quickest possible time, that doesn't matter. Because, you know, and I know I keep on saying it, and I will probably keep on saying it for my, you know, many, many more videos and much more time to come done beats perfect and just getting out and doing something is always going to be better than doing nothing right so no matter what it is that you want to achieve in life what is the first step that you can take towards it today you know if you were training for a marathon or a half marathon and you don't feel like you can go out and you can run five miles today can you run one or can you go for a five mile walk you know, what can you do that may not be the perfect thing you think you're supposed to be doing, but is at least moving you in the right direction? You know, as my TEDx ended, I asked a question. And actually the event, the theme for the, abre the event was Brave New World. So I asked the question about, are you ready for a brave new world? But actually the real question was the one that came after it. You know, are you gonna take the bullets out of your gun? Or are you gonna keep playing Russian roulette with your health? Or I might even have asked it the other way around, you know, are you gonna keep playing Russian roulette with your health or are you gonna take the bullets out of your gun? I can't remember which way I said it now. But in all seriousness, whatever it is that's going on in your life that you know there are actions you can take to improve it, are you gonna keep ignoring it? Are you gonna keep your head buried in the sand? Or are you gonna start taking that action no matter how small today?